Hi, welcome to my eye information channel. My name is Chris and I'm a practicing optometrist in the UK. If you're at all familiar with eyes, you've probably heard the word astigmatism or the term rugby ball shaped eye before. So in this video, I'm going to show you what astigmatism is and how it is corrected. First, just a few words about how the eye works in ideal circumstances. If you already know this part from one of my other videos, or if you know it anyway, I've included timestamps for you to skip ahead. OK, the eye's focusing system consists of three main components. The retina, which is the light sensitive film on the back of the eye. The cornea, which is the transparent focusing surface on the front of the eye and the lens inside the eye. The cornea and lens between them focus light onto the retina. Whenever you are looking at something, in order for you to see it clearly, the light from it has to be focused onto your retina. So in an eye that does not need glasses, when you are looking at a distant object such as a TV screen, the lens stays in its weakest state and the eye does not have to apply extra focusing effort. The light from the distant object enters the eye and is focused by the cornea and the lens onto the retina so that you can see clearly. When you are looking at a near object, such as a book or iPad screen, because this is much closer to you, the lens will not be able to focus the light onto the retina in its weakest state. So the eye applies extra focusing efforts, which makes the lens change shape and get more powerful. So now the light is focused onto the retina and you can see the near object clearly. This is in an eye that does not need glasses. So what is astigmatism? Well, in an eye that is not astigmatic, the cornea, as viewed from the front, has exactly the same curve all the way around. Similar to the shape of a football or a marble or any other perfectly spherical object. But in an eye that does have astigmatism, the cornea is more oval or rugby ball shaped, as shown here. There is a steeper part, which in this example goes from top to bottom, and a flatter part, which in this case goes from side to side. The steeper part of the cornea is stronger and focuses light further forward, whereas the flatter part of the cornea is weaker and focuses light further back. So when light from an object at any distance away enters an eye that has astigmatism, like I said in the previous slide, the steeper part of the cornea focuses the light further forward, but the flatter part of the cornea focuses the light further back. And because the light is not all being focused at the same point and not onto the retina, the person's vision appears blurry and distorted. How is this corrected? By using a cylinder lens. This means a lens shaped like a bean can or a biscuit barrel. A cylinder lens will correct either the steeper or flatter part of the cornea, but not both. Whichever part it corrects, it will leave the other unaffected. So going back to the astigmatic eye, when a cylinder lens is placed in front of the eye and lined up correctly, it will correct one part, in this case the steeper part, but leave the other, in this case the flatter part, uncorrected or unaffected sorry all of the light is now focused at the same point as it would be in an eye that does not have astigmatism now astigmatism rarely happens on its own most of the time it occurs together with either long sight or short sight in which case the glasses will incorporate both the astigmatism correction and the long or short sight sight correction all of the light entering the person's eye will then be focused onto the retina and they will be able to see clearly. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you. If you'd like to see more videos covering various eye conditions, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. See you later. Bye.